Hey guys, Wooperlol here, bringing another League of Legends video. Today I'll be discussing Who's the Beatdown by Mike Flores. Who's the Beatdown was an extremely innovative Magic the Gathering theory crafting article. I believe that the theory applied in that article can be applied to League of Legends as well. And with me today is Travis Wu from ChannelFireball.com, a Magic the Gathering pro. He's going to help me explain the theory behind the article and how it applies to Magic. Alright, Travis Wu here from the Magic the Gathering world to talk briefly about the uh, uh, theory around who is the beatdown. Who is the beatdown is kind of this idea that in a given match, um, on one side, one person is advantaged in the early game. On the other side, this uh, the other person is advantaged in the late game. And knowing which one you are, correctly identifying that, and then embracing that role and playing in such a way to take advantage of that, uh, is going to win a lot of games. So why is this theoretical framework useful for League of Legends? Well, I see a lot of commentators being like, oh, this team is up 5,000 gold, they're winning. Or, this person is up 20 CS from lane, they're, they won their lane. You see a lot of that sort of stuff. But that ignores the, the whole picture of the game. In magic terms, one deck is the beatdown deck, and the other deck is the control deck. The beatdown deck needs to win in the early game, or else they face a control deck later in the game that will just beat them on card quality. This happens a lot of time in League of Legends also. Using this theoretical framework, we're going to look over how to identify what role you're in, how to change your play based on what role you're in, and when you need to notice that your role is changing. Step 1. Identify your role. It's incredibly important to know whether you have the better late game, or they have the better late game. This only comes with a ton of practice, but we're going to go over some of the general rules in each lane that will tell you which part of the game you're favored in. One way to identify who's the beatdown is to look at assassins like Akali and Shaco. Champions like Akali and Shaco have a window where they're extremely effective at killing enemy champions. Outside of this window, their opponents are either too tanky or they don't have the burst to fully finish off an enemy champion. Their effectiveness falls quite a bit. They need to utilize the opening that they have and pull ahead and snowball the game. Another way to identify who has the better late game is to look at AP ratios of casters. Champions with high AP ratios tend to do more damage with items than champions with low ratios. Champions such as Cass, Karthus, and Orianna do a ton of damage in the late game, while champions with low ratios such as Donna or Scion do lower amounts of damage. Now that we know some ways to identify who's the beatdown, we can think about how to change our play. Say you're going up against a Renekton top, who is known for having a really good early game, but a not so great late game. What can we do? Well, we can play more passively in the early game, allowing him to get some farm, but not allowing him to kill us. He really needs the snowball from the early game, and not letting him kill us will prevent that snowball from occurring. Obviously we can't let him get too much CS, or else we'll be too far behind, but we need to play more passively than usual. Another instance of putting this theory to work is with the summoner spell Teleport. Teleport gives you a lot of map control. It allows you to affect mid-game dragons as well as split push late game. In a lot of top lane matchups, both top laners are going for a good late game. Instead of choosing a summoner like Exhaust or Ignite for lane, you should choose Teleport, which gives you a better late game. You become the control, and they become the beatdown. This is good because they can't actually beat you down, because they don't have the killing potential. Three. When roles change. Just because you're playing a champion that has a good late game doesn't mean that you can't be aggressive mid or early game. Sometimes champions that are good late game also have strong windows in the early or mid game. So take a champion like Karthus. He has a very good late game because of his high damage, but also when he turns 6, his ulti is very strong at giving him global map pressure. This allows his team to play more aggressively than usual. Even though your team has a Karthus and you have a stronger late game because of it, you also can play aggressively when you turn 6. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more content from me, such as the graph in the video, you can check out my subreddit that I've linked below. I've also linked Travis's work as well as Who's the Beatdown.